Now that we have a good understanding of benchmark percents, let's use what we already know to figure out some more advanced percentages. If we want to figure out what 5% is, I simply have to have what I already know as 10%. So for example, if I was looking for 5% of 72, I know that 10% of 72 is 72 tenths, or 7 and 2 tenths, and to find 5%, I just have that, so 5% would be 3 and 6 tenths. If I were to look for 2% of a number, I simply have to double my 1%. So if I were looking for 2% of 14, I know that 1% of 14 would be 14 hundredths, 0 decimal 1 4, and 2% would simply be double that. So 2% of 14 is 28 hundredths. If I were looking for 30%, I'd simply take my benchmark percent of 10 and multiply it by 3. In this example, what is 30% of 90? Well, I know that 10% of 90 is 90 over 10, or 90 tenths, which is the same thing as 9 wholes, and I simply have to take that 10%, which was 9, and multiply it by 3. So my answer in the red circle is 27. If I wanted to find 51% of a number, I'd simply have to find 50% of the number and then add it to my 1% of my number. If I were looking to find 76% of a number, I would simply take my 50% plus my 25% plus my 1%. If I were to be asked to find 22% of a number, I would take 20% plus my 1% and then double it, or just simply add another 1% on, because 20% plus 1% plus 1% gives me my 22%. Let's have a look at this example. If I want to find 26% of 20, I look to see what I already know. I already know that I can easily find 25%, and then I know that I can find 1%. So if I find those two percents, I simply have to add them together. Now, as you can see, I found 25% of 20, which is 5, and 1% of 20, which is 20 hundredths, otherwise known as 20 hundredths in the circle here. Now, my last step is to add them together. So, my 25% was 5, my 1% was 20 hundredths. Once I add them together, I get 5 and 20 hundredths, or 5 and 2 tenths. Those are both equivalent. Now it's your turn to try. Remember to use what you already know and break down the percentages into more manageable pieces. You can do it.